it, and okay. There he goes. I have quite a bit of a bend on it. That's more of a bend than, <laughs> than, than they should be. Yeah, baby. Go. Otis. That's cool. Wow, look at his neck. There is not much left of him there. Hey, YouTube. Got a new video for you today. Today we're doing AEW Upper Deck, the Hobby Box. Um, it just got in the mail today. Paid right around 129 bucks. And you can still find it on Steel City uh, for about $1.99. So for me, this is definitely a premium product. A um, couple interesting things about this is this is the first hobby box for Upper Deck. Um, I believe it is on a cardboard stock. Um, you can hit mem cards and autographs. Um, the autographs are one out of, I think, four boxes. So you get about four per case. So it is pretty tough. Um, a lot of the Topps um, product is almost two per hobby box, um, which is awesome, obviously. So I don't know if these have these have stickers. I can see them right on the back over here. Um, there's one of ones out of here. The hit rates are pretty high, so it's going to be interesting. Um, outside of MEMS, they do have the four upper deck canvas cards. So yeah, I'm ready to get into it. Let's Let's do it. Okay, I've been waiting a while for this one. It did get delayed about two or three times, so <clears throat> just received the shipping about two days ago, and it's here now, so I'm excited. Open this up just like the old school way. Again, we have uh, eight cards per pack and 16 packs per box, so there's definitely a lot to be open. Here's a little up and close of the pack art. Kenny Omega, Britt Baker, and Sting. Alrighty. Here we go. Pack number one. Okay, I feel like we have like a insert or a die cut or something. <clears throat> First time looking at these cards, so it's going to be a little bit of a slow roll. We got um the Young Bucks. I'm just going to blow this up just a little bit for myself. I've not seen like any of these. John Moxley. Okay, this quality is pretty nice actually. I was hoping they would be on Chrome, but ooh, this is cool. Ah, oh, look at this. Okay, never mind. I was just fooled. That feels like it's 3D. Um, Dustin Rhodes. I gotta put this down for a second. This is like this is really cool. Oh, this is a Wednesday in action. Okay, I think this is one per box. First edition on the back. That's pretty neat. And like... Yeah, it's like a little window. So I haven't seen that. That's pretty cool. No hollow on it, though. We'll put that to the side. Okay, this looks really nice, too, actually. Big Swole. The main features. And for the final one, uh, magazine card. Brian Cage. Okay. So far, I'm enjoying it. Just that one card kind of made up for it. Good job. Pack number two. Let's take a look. Okay, so we got another tag team card, the Dark Order. We have the Butcher. So this is kind of your base. The Silver. John Silver. Ooh. Look at this little hit. AEW Magazine. It's a nice little, like, um, kaleidoscope kind of, like, hit. Hollow. Very cool. Rio, main features. That kind of looks like um, Panini Origins, but not complaining at all. It's very cool looking. Um, we got this on this like little um, Coca Cabana on like a, almost like a foil. I feel like it shines a little bit. Magazine card. Doesn't look much like a magazine to me though. Another John Silver. 
And for the last one, the blade. Okay. Two packs down. Pack number three. There's Hobbs. Shida. Ooh, Orange Cassidy magazine. Shocks the world by trying. Let's take a look at the back of it. Um, Orange Cassidy is down for whatever, even if whatever means a shot at the TNT championship. I like that they say first edition on the cards. Um, we got this like kind of gold. I don't know if it's considered a gold, but um, Shida, Shida, magazine again, and we got a hit behind it. Jim Ross. All right, gotta love him. Same kind of design. It's got that like kaleidoscope on it. Very cool. Main features, Anna J. I feel like we're seeing seeing a lot of the same kind of like cards, but I guess with um eight in a pack, that's gonna happen. Penelope Ford and Lance Archer for the base. Come on. Of course, you can never open it when you want to. All right. Matt Hardy. Another one on the magazine. Again, it doesn't look, doesn't look like a magazine to me, but it's all right. Alex Reynolds. The Blade. Tony Shivana. Shabon, Shabana. Ooh, I think this is one per box too. Cody Rhodes, Rhodes to success. Um, Cody Rhodes is crowned the uh, inaugural uh, TNT champion. Jake Roberts. And Kenny Omega. What's the first Kenny Omega card? Okay, about four or five packs in so far. Still looking for that auto, maybe a mem. <laughs> we have uh, Trent. Paul Turner, the referee card. Got to have that one. Jake Roberts, another one. I'm not sure if that was exactly the same card or not. There's something different. Okay, here's a canvas card. Scorpio Sky. Cool looking. I've seen a lot of canvas cards. Um, Panini has them in a bunch of their sets. Ooh, Britt Baker. Main feature. DMD. Got Cody Rhodes again on the magazine. Sammy Guevara. Guevara. The Spanish God. And tag team FTR. Okay. This one feels... Uh, okay, not too bad. I thought it might be a little bit heavier. I don't think so. Got the champion, Chris Jericho. Brandy Rhodes. Mark Queen. Another canvas, uh, Joey Giovanna. Janella, sorry. Mr. Brody Lee. 
a Rochester native right here. Rest in peace. Iron Anderson. Dustin Rhodes. And for the last one of this, Magazine Sting. Sting walks softly, softly and carries a big uh, stick in AEW debut. Got that kind of like uh, foil in the background. Okay. Got Tony again. Santana. Jungle Boy. Love his theme song. That was so much fun to see live. The Butcher. Ooh, he's on this little star background kind of prism. A little gold on the side. It's pretty cool. Another uh, Roads to Success. This is the same one. Um, Cody Rhodes finds tag team success with Darby Allen. Jungle Boy main features. I'm assuming they have parallels of like this actual card, but so far I've gotten like I think five or six of them, which is normal for a hobby box like this, I guess. Um, Sean Spears and tag team the best friends. So I'm definitely seeing a pattern. Um, you get so many of each kind of set, I guess, which in the within the hobby. Okay. Chuck Taylor. Magazine. Uh, Lance Archer. Darby Allen. Got him on the, the base. Kenny Omega. Unless that's a blue, but I think it's just a base. Yeah. Mark Queen. Got him on the... I don't call it the Sun Parallel or something. Explosion, maybe? Brian Cage. Cassidy. And John Moxley. Okay, a couple of dupl duplicates so far. <clears throat> I think we're about halfway through the box. 16 packs, about 8 left. Okay, tag team. Uh, Lucha Brothers. Their match against... Can't remember. Um, one of that pay-per-views a couple months ago. Amazing inside the... Uh, the Hell in the Cell, or the Cage. Stu Grayson. Cash Wheeler. And there's another magazine. It's on a gold. Um, obviously, Cody Rhodes. I don't know if that's a number. Let's take a look. Nope. Okay. The Nightmare family's adding a new member. MJF, Chris Jericho in the magazine, Joey Janela, and the second base, Britt Baker. Okay. I'm just looking for that mem, or an auto. Had to feel that pack a little bit. Got something in this one? Hmm. Maybe something in the middle. Magazine. Um, who's this again? Rose? Nyla, Ro Nyla Rose. MJF. Pretty cool looking. Tag team, SCU. Jim Ross. 
Franky Kazarian, Chris Statlander, Cody Rhodes, and John, Mo er, wow, I'm sorry, Kenny Omega. On the magazine. So far, not too bad. Um, it does feel like you are looking at the same cards, but um, they are nice. The quality is pretty good. Actually, I don't have any issues with them. Sammy Guevara. There's a tribute of Brody Lee. There's another Sammy card. Ooh, a little orange hit here. Tag team. The Dark Order. How about a number card? Can we hit one? I do love that. That's really cool looking. Let's take a look at it on the back. Any number? Nope. Okay. I thought there'd be some numbers to hit. Um, Matt Hardy. Is that, oh, that one's hollowed, I guess, right? There's a little color on top, the main features. We got rainbow? <laughs> Not much, but I feel like that's a rainbow hit. Okay. Um, Billy Gunn. And QT Marshall. Okay. Maybe something in this one. It's a little heavier. Unfortunately, there is no CM Punk. There is no Daniel Bryan. Considering the box did get delayed like two or three times, a lot of people thought they were adding those um those wrestlers. You would hope so. Mm, maybe not. Okay. Nyla Rose... Wardlow, Abdon, <laughs> I've never seen her before, here's a hit, oh it's the same car, okay, she's scary as shit, Ray Phoenix, Ortiz, I love Ortiz, and Matt Jackson, that's the first of uh, the Young Bucks, and Justin Roberts. Okay, we're down to four packs left. Uno from the Dark Order. Blanchard, I think. Ray Phoenix. Tag Team FTR. Good old Jungle Boy, and I think there's a hit behind it. Oh, that is okay. That is it. Oh, it's really hard to see on this one. It's got like a black background. I believe there's like an orange behind it. No number. There we go. Top rope. That's one of the hits you can get out of the out of the hobby box. It's cool. Magazine, Britt Baker, and Miro. Three left. It's not looking too good for the for the auto. For 150 bucks, they better throw something in here for me. Nick Jackson, tag team. I got the bunny. Colt Cabana. Cabana. I thought that might have been a green for a minute. John. Nope. Um, Darby Allen. Gold uh, Magazine. Here's another canvas card. Taz. Okay, that's cool. Santana. Just checking the Taz. 
His son's wrestling as Hook now. Huge star. Anna J. And John Moxley. Hmm. It's a tough one. We have Ray Phoenix on the magazine. Hardwood. Cassidy. And the last uh, canvas, that's Pac or Pac. Nick Jackson. The Butcher. Scorpio Sky. And Adam Page. Okay, final pack here. Overall, I'm not too, too impressed. These were nice and fun, but not at 150 bucks. Okay, let's make it up right here. Come on, baby. We got Taz. Luchasaurus. Pac. Sting on the main feature. Another Cody Rhodes. Rhodes to success. Shakes off uh, Jack Hagar's title challenge. Frankie Kazarian. That's not looking too good. Unless this last one's an auto. Oh, it's not. Ricky Starks. That's disappointing. Um, no mem card, no no auto, um, a couple hollows, I think about four or five, and then the canvas cards. So those two, and then my very first one that I pulled, which I thought I was going to be super excited after getting something like this, <clears throat> Wednesday in Action. I, this is probably the coolest card that's in the set because it has that like kind of 3D window um, look to it. But yeah, not one numbered either, so it's pretty rough for 150 bucks. Um, I would like to be at about 30 for <laughs> the cards I got. You know, I like to get a number or something out of it. Um, even even some color, so not just a couple of hollows, but um, I mean that's what it is. So I'm the you know 150 bucks. Um, out of 10, I would rate it probably probably a seven because the cards are still really nice. Um, seven seven and a half maybe even an eight just like they just don't have numbers autos or colors in them but everything else is really great about it really don't have any issues and you do get a lot of the same cards uh main features the tag team canvas and your base cards like the same five you kind of just rotate through them so i think that could be a little bit better the format itself so yeah let's go 6.5 to a seven um, that'll do it for that video today. Maybe we'll get some more WWE or I don't know about AEW. I think one and done on this set for me is okay. Um, if you liked the video, subscribe, leave a comment and give it a thumbs up until next time. Thanks for watching.